Hey there, welcome back. This is part 17 of my WebDriver IO tutorial series. To check out my previous videos in this series, make sure to click on the card above or click on the link in the description below. So in this video, we will take a look at how to run test in browser stack. So if you're not familiar with browser stack, it provides you instance access to 2000 plus real mobile devices and browsers. This makes it really easy for you to run test on multiple browsers and operating systems without having to worry about setting up your own infrastructure. So let's take a look at how we can get started with browser stack. So the first thing we need to do is register our account with browser stack. So if you already have an account, you can just directly sign in. If you don't have an account, click on sign in here and then just click on sign up and you can sign up with your account here or you can even sign up with your Google account if you already have one. And just keep in mind browser stack is a paid service. So when you will sign up, you will get a free trial account where you will have access to around 100 minutes of automated browser testing. And this is enough for us to just play around and get familiar with browser stack. Okay, so I'm going to sign in with my browser stack account now. Once you're signed in or registered, you will see a screen similar to this. Here you will have access to a bunch of different devices which you can open up or operating systems. But we're not going to be doing this. Instead, we're gonna click on the automate link here. And this is the dashboard of every time you will run your test. So if you notice, I've ran some tests previously here. That's why it's showing up. In your case, it's probably going to be displayed empty. So key thing to notice here is you will see something called access key here. This is the access key that we will be using when connecting with WebDriver IO. So I'm going to click on this and you're going to notice your username and access key here. So make sure to copy that as the, we will be using this in our WebDriver IO configuration. Okay, so let's head over to VS Code and get this set up. Before we do that, let's quickly head over to WebDriver IO and see how we can integrate browser stack with our test. Okay, so I'm going to click on docs. And if you scroll down, you will see browser stack service here. So what we need to do is just like any other services we have installed, we have to install this browser stack service and we can do that by doing npm install and then uh, putting in WDIO browser stack service. So we'll install that. And after that, we just have to do a little bit of configuration and then we can start running our test in browser stack. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm back in our test and what we're going to do is install our service. So I already copied that over here. I'm just going to paste it. Okay, so our service is installed now. Now let's head back to docs to see what we have to do in our configuration. Okay, so for our configuration, if you notice, they have the user and key. This is the same user key that we found in our um, access key over here. So we're gonna be using that and then just change our services to add browser stack there. So it's pretty simple. Let's head back to VS Code and implement this. I'm going to our configuration file here. And then over here we can add our browser stack config. So I'll just name this browser stack config. And then we need our user and then we need our key. So if you want, you can hard code this over here. Just put in your uh, user and key like this. But the better way to do this is to pass in using the environment variable. So if you notice in their documentation, they are using process.environment and then they have this browser stack username and the access key. The reason is just to make sure that your key remains safe, that since it is a private key, so you do not want to be putting it directly hard coded in your um, code. So let's, let me just copy this and then head back to VS code. And then I'll paste this over here. Same thing, I can paste it here and instead I will change this to key. Okay, so now what we want to do is when we will be running our test, typically we were running our test before just by doing npx wdio, but instead of doing this now, we're going to have to pass in this username and key in our command line so that it gets picked up by our configuration. So what we have to do instead is you copy this and then put in your username. So in my case, for example, I have automation pro is my username and then my key, I'm gonna put that here. And my key is obviously secure, so I'm just gonna add in that over here. You can just put in your key, and once that's there, just hit enter and it's gonna run your test. So I'm gonna add in my key here, and then I will run my test. But before we do that, we also need to update our service. So I'm going to uh, our service here, and then instead of Selenium standalone, we'll change it with browser stack. That's it. Now you can put in your key in here and then hit enter to run your test. 
So I'm gonna do that right now. So it has finished running. I'm gonna head back to Chrome now. Okay, so over here, if you noticed that I have my desk that ran three minutes ago, and if I click on the first one, this is the one that ran in Firefox, and I can see all the details of my test over here. So we can see that it tried to open the um, page, it trying to find the page title, and then our assertion, which is it's trying to get the text too. At the same time, you can see the video over here to see exactly how our test ran and what it did, which is extremely helpful. And with browser stack, it's really easy to do this. I can even see the same thing for Chrome. And it did the same thing for the product search and it opened in Chrome. And that's the advantage you get with browser stack. It's really easy to run tests in multiple browsers as well as in multiple operating systems. You don't have to worry about setting up your own infrastructure. But one thing to keep in mind that browser stack is a paid service like I mentioned before. So in your free trial account, you only get 100 minutes. But I think this is sufficient to just to get familiar with browser stack and be able to run tests in different browsers and operating systems as well as configure it with WebDriver IO. But um, once the 100 minutes are over, you can decide to purchase a plan and they have different pricing options which you can kind of look around um, and see uh, for example over here they have 199 usd per month and you can decide how many parallel tests you want to be running or you can even customize it based on your organizational need and go with the enterprise option but anyways the focus for this video was how we can run our test in browser stacks using webdriver io so in our next video we will move on to our final section of this series which is to integrate test with jenkins Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. That's it for this video folks, I will see you in the next one.